I want to discuss now how to add multiple positions and have each of them be a Z stack. So to do that, you want to go to the Z stack module, switch it to center, and decide on how much of a range you want at each position. So um, I'm not sure in this case um, what would be reasonable. Uh, let me see if I set the center here and just say, uh, we'll take 10 microns at a two micron interval just for the purposes of this. So if I go to last and first, okay, let me make it a little bit thicker. And let me do this, just a very coarse sampling. Okay, um, so if we were to uh, set positions like this, um, once we hit start experiment, it will do nine slices at each one. And in each case, it will be centered uh, at this Z position. So if you want to check whether that, uh, that uh, Z position makes sense, we can run the verify module again. Uh, we can move to the current point, go to live. And to check whether the Z stack makes sense centered in the position uh, marked here, you can do the following. You can say, okay, if I'm here, that means that the Z stack will be centered at this position. So if I click center here, this will readjust the Z stack and allow me to explore if this were the center, this position here. See, so you can see this is where we are. This is where it thinks it's the center. This is where we would be if we ran the, the, um, the module. Okay, that's the center. If I go to the top, there's nothing. If I go to the bottom, there's nothing. So that, that means that we're capturing everything uh, in the middle as well. So we could probably get away with something. Let me see. I'll just set this to 30 so it's a little bit faster. Yeah, so that makes a little bit more sense. Okay. Um, so this would, you know, this is a good center position. So if we say set Z and move to next, we look at this one. Um, if we center where we are right now, it's very similar to the previous one. Uh, we can double check again that the bottom and top are fine. Let's go to one which is a little bit different. If we go to this one, um, you can see that this is, you know, that this position is not the center. So if I went here, this would not actually be the top of the Z stack taken here. So I want to be, um, it, when this is in, in this position, for that to be the center of the Z stack. So if I click there and now go to the top and to the bottom, you can see that it's fine. Um, so if I close this, stop here, all those Z stacks now I've verified that you know they will go through the entire block of tissue. So uh, let me just speed it up by doing this. Um, and let's see, um, let's just do start experiment. And I'm just gonna do the them in two channels just to make this go faster. So you can see that it is acquiring a Z stack at each of the multiple positions. And so this is a very crude Z stack just for the, pur for the purposes of time. It's just uh, seven positions. Um, but now we have multiple locations, each of which has a Z stack. If we press follow acquisition, it'll just show us what it's doing um, here. And we can also see where the stage is there. Okay, so this in one file will contain multiple Z stacks. So there's five locations and there's seven Z planes for each of these. And you can imagine how um, you could set up, you know, more Z stacks, finer Z stacks, all the stuff from the, the, the Z stack part of the software, you can integrate it with different positions.